Hey guys, this is me Gajanand and you are watching Take Rudranshi. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to download Codeigniter 4 and run our first application. So, we will understand step by step, we will not skip any step, so let's get started. So, you have to open browser and then type Codeigniter. and click on the first link click to download and download codeigniter 4 let's go on a zip file copy and put this codeigniter zip file in your desktop and you can put anywhere in your system so let's ex extract it once you have extracted let's delete zip file and then we have to setting up our codeigniter configuration so you have to open this folder and here is a lots of files and folders right we don't need to uh, delete and anything uh, it here just go to app for setting of codeigniter 4 and go to config and here is two files we need to add it first is config.app.php uh, let's drag it and drop it let's close this one again app.php and second file is database.php so let me show you first database.php little bit zoom in and here is our database username so my database username is root and password is blank and database I am using tutorial tutorial let me show you tutorial database so this is my php at my admin and here is a tutorial and inside have a table which is customer so let's copy this tutorial database name and paste it here like this and then our connection has established let's close this one and this is app.php in our configuration and here we need to set page url right so make it as it is by default so let me uh, first run this application and see what is the problem and how it works right so let's uh, run this application first so come here in our folder in our coordinator folder and here you have to type cmd command prompt and type a command to run a Codeigniter 4 so php spark serve and it enter but when we enter it will show error message like this so let's enable the extension from php.ini so let's go to xamp and here is apache and click to config php.ini and here you need to find control f extension equals to int int l okay and let's find it and close this one and this extension you have to enable let's remove this semicolon and save okay and then restart apache okay and then go back to our project and again you have to type cmd and then type a command php spark spark so and hit enter now it will not give any error right so we have to go this location let's copy this one this is our website URL and let's open in a browser like this and hit enter so as you have seen this is our codeigniter for installation and this is a base URL let's copy this one and go to app.php in our current configuration file and let's paste that url like this but by default its port is 8080 
there is many other options to connect a database dot env file using this we can also set a configuration of our code igniter for set setting of okay so guys today we have a scene how to install how to download Codeigniter 4 and running our first app so here is welcome to Codeigniter 4.0.4 .4. so guys today uh, we have understood uh, clearly if you have any questions and doubts you can write a comment i'm here to help you so thanks for watching bye bye we will make some more interesting videos till then bye have a nice day bye bye